Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a luxury shopping vlog because I was at the mall around two weeks ago to pick up the prize for a giveaway I'm doing hopefully very soon. It's going to be when I hit 5,000 subscribers. So I asked you guys in a poll on YouTube if you would prefer something in Chanel's caviar or lambskin for this giveaway prize and I expected the results to be closer than they were. I didn't know if lambskin would win or caviar would win, but surprisingly caviar got around 70% of the votes. So if you voted for either caviar or lambskin, I would be very curious to know why you picked either or. So let me know in the comments down below. And I also want your guys' opinions on some of the bags that I'll be showing in this vlog. There are a few that I am seriously considering, but I'm not quite 100% sure I want to get them yet. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys the sizing as well as color options for the cashmere trench coat from Burberry that I unboxed in a recent video. A lot of you guys had asked me after posting that video what size you should get or which color you should get. So I showed a few in this video and I'll talk through the sizing a little bit more. So let's get into the video. Now the Dior boutique that I was in didn't have too much in stock from the Cruise 2021 collection. I had wanted to take a look at their new Saint Honoré bag. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they didn't have that in stock. The other item that I was really interested in from their Cruise collection was the new Lady Dior's with the lacquered hardware. And those are in the small size or the My Lady Dior size. So I was able to see this beige one as well as the color is called cloud blue and the beige one is actually a really really light colored beige it's much lighter than the beige claire from chanel and this blue one is a really nice kind of gray toned blue i actually really like this bag but i don't know you guys should let me know if you think this is a little bit too similar to my navy lady dior do i need two lady diors in a blue color i'm not entirely sure about that but i really like this blue color and I also think that with this lacquered hardware, on the beige one, because it is light gold hardware and the lacquered beige color is very similar in color to the gold, it doesn't really stand out that much, so it doesn't look too special. And in the mini size, they also had that cloud blue color in this patent leather, and it looks so pretty, but I don't know, I'm just not really in love with patent leather right now. I also saw the same cloud blue color in this bobby bag in both the medium and the small size and I don't know about you guys but this bag is actually really really growing on me. I actually think it looks quite nice and the small size actually looks super cute I think but the only thing that's kind of not really perfect about it is I don't really like how Dior is doing those adjustable straps for kind of like their newer bags. I just think it causes the leather to crease really weirdly on the strap. And here I have a quick comparison between the cloud blue color on the Lady Dior as well as the Bobby bag. And then on the very far left, that one is actually one of the fall winter colors. It's a gray color that 
does have a little bit of a blue undertone but compared to the cloud blue that definitely looks much more gray and i think velvet bags are making such a huge statement right now chanel just released their coco handle in the black velvet and here at dior i tried on their saddle bag in the black velvet as well as coming up will be lady dior and i actually think i might prefer this material in the saddle bag instead of the lady dior the way that the saddle bag is designed makes it so that the crystals on the hardware is located all around the bag whereas on the lady dior you'll see that it's just on the dior charm so it's very concentrated and you don't really get as much of the bling as on the saddle bag so i'm not sure if i'm ready to spend this amount of money on a velvet bag but there's no denying that it looks really pretty Next up is Chanel. So while I was there, I really wanted to take a look at their new extra mini Coco handle. And the only ones they had for me to look at were the ones with the colored hardware. But the bag is essentially the same size. The only difference is with these, the shoulder strap is not detachable and the closure is a magnetic closure instead of the turn lock. And I really think this bag is so adorable. I like that the top handle on this is more comfortable and also I think it's more proportional to the the size of the rest of the bag and here i have it compared to the mini rectangular and i think the base of the two bags is approximately the same but the top of the coco handle is more similar to the mini square instead and this bag does fit my iphone 11 pro but i think anything bigger than that is probably not going to fit because my phone is quite a tight fit in there and this next bag is the all black chanel filigree bag and i had mentioned in one of my recent videos that i really wish i had purchased a so black classic flap but i wanted it in a very specific combination of leather and hardware i wanted the lambskin with a kind of shiny so black hardware and this bag fits that combination but the thing with this filigree bag is i feel like most other filigree bags come with a strap that you can double up if you wanted to but this specific one you actually can't do that and i tried on both sizes the larger size is definitely very overwhelming on my body it's just too wide i think the smaller size is a good fit but i think that i would like to be able to wear this bag with the chains doubled up so that's kind of holding me back from getting this but let me know what you guys think about this bag so when i unboxed the cashmere burberry trench coat a few videos ago i had bought that coat in a us size 4 and that was a huge mistake because that coat was way too big on me i am usually an extra small or between a size double zero to zero in most clothing and i'm also five foot four for reference so i went into their boutique to try on both the size zero as well as the size two to see which would be better for me and this first gray one that i'm showing this is in a size zero and when i'm wearing lighter layers this is the perfect fit for me when i'm wearing thicker sweaters for example i do wish there was a little bit more room in the shoulders but the sleeve length on this coat is also perfect so this next one in the navy color is in a size two and i do like how it fits in the shoulders but around the waist there is a lot of extra fabric which is very apparent when you tighten the waist tie and the sleeves are also a little bit long too so i tried on the zero again for this third color and this i had the same complaints as with the gray one so what i ended up doing is i bought this last color in a size two and i had them shorten the sleeves a little bit as well as taken a little bit of the fabric around the waist and it's coming to me really really soon in the mail so hopefully this is perfect now 
So that is it for this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I would love to hear your thoughts on anything that I showed in today's video. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on new videos every single week, which will also include the video with the giveaway. And I'll leave two videos up on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.